Happy Hi. today. Miss you guys. Happy yeah. you. Hi. Just saying earlier, we haven't done anything like this since AX 2014. Like we haven't oh, had all four of us. It's been six years. That's yeah. crazy. She wouldn't believe me last night, Eric. I told I told Christine, and she's like, "No, it's. I mean, that's <laughs> that seems like so long ago. Yeah. It does seem like so long ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't I'm believe it. I and two of you mentioned the um, Reddit, and oh. so I was okay. like, okay. It was mentioned multiple times. I'm gonna go hang out. So Rachel and I jumped on Reddit, and which led us into the Toradora Discord. Oh, and so, um, is it Discord? I didn't a, know there was a Discord. <laughs> there, I will. I'm gonna post a link to the Toradora Discord right now. Um, Let's take a look. It is super, super cool. Let's see, Toradora Discord. Is there like a main? Ooh. All right. Well, I'll I'll do. This should get you. Okay, for everyone, Toradora Discord link. I didn't know there was a Toradora Discord. Yeah. I love it, the rewatch. So yes, I, that's how I knew about the Reddit, yeah. Mm -hmm. December 6th is when the rewatch begins, and I guess they sync it oh. so that it lines up with Christmas. Yeah, yeah. they do. Oh, wait, yeah. so that you, when you watch one like every day until Christmas? Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that's oh. adorable. Is that <laughs> the best? I on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's, that's so cool. cool. They've been doing it every cute. year. It's really incredible to see just how dedicated they are to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that got me excited about like what we could do for next year. Cassandra had mentioned she's like, Oh, you should totally get a license. And I'm like, Yeah, I can do that in a couple weeks. <laughs> um, but then I watched the anime. Uh, Miss Palm Top Tiger, and I freaking love, I love, I love, I love this anime, you all. Um, and so I think now, just because when I like something this much, we then we usually find the people that like it as much as we do. And so here's my commitment for next year. I say we do this in December next year. I say I get a license in between here and there. I say we have prints and metal bookmarks and all sorts of things yeah. to make available Ooh. for the fan. So that's my goal. If, if yeah. everyone, okay. That sounds cool. Yeah. And and we all need to work together to get Johnny. Oh, yes. <laughs> like He's yeah. like an elusive unicorn and yeah. it's uh, impossible to find him and get him. <laughs> Really? He's like yeah, he's just like very elusive. Yes. Like I, I think he yes. doesn't do a lot of stuff. Yeah. He doesn't. Um I was grateful to run into him at SAC Anime in January. This January I met him for the first time. Um and it was so crazy. Everything we put that was on a piece of metal on his table was gone within <laughs> like 30 minutes. And well, we were like sense. pulling yeah. displays down off the wall and like <laughs> bash the stampede. Power Ranger, like literally, guys, wow. everything that I could, I could find in our booth. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, Johnny, it's been, it's been good to get to know you because I, I usually will like visit at the beginning of a convention and be like, here's all your metal. Um, I'll come check on you later, see mm -hmm. what's, and then like it was, we were just like getting texts, like Johnny's out, Johnny's out. I was like, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my um, gosh. Wow. So yeah, I and I, oh man, where's that visual? The, I. There is one visual that we shared um, that is, you know, he gets, his character gets pretty crazy at the pageant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we could ever, I don't know how much we would that. have to kickstart it, but if we could ever get Johnny to cosplay that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> more, uh, People would so be even more difficult than getting him to come to a <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah. A shirtless Johnny in, a, in, in only Santa in pants. Sexy Santa. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I love it so much. Let me see if I can tour. Uh, I got to get this on screen. I Because, you know, most, most of the graphics, they're all the same. But then there's one with Ryuji's mom and um, sexy Santa, and okay, <laughs> this is gonna be. I gotta share this. All right. Who doesn't love a sexy Santa? Who I doesn't know, want? A, <laughs> Everyone uh, wants a sexy Santa. <laughs> yeah, and sexy Santa can be whatever gender you need sexy Santa to be. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> sexy Santa does not discriminate. Does <laughs> not. Okay, so there we go. We'll kick off the. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I love that. That's so oh, cute. Yeah. There's even Inko. Oh, Inko. Oh, okay. I, I internet stuck. I, all I see is a, like a pinwheel. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. No. No. I'll wait well, till it's I... a really cool picture that you're missing. Mm -hmm. You still can't see it, Cassandra? No, it's like frozen. Okay. Wait, you see us though, right? Yeah, I can see you guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll pull I'll sexy Santa off. down. I will I will um make sure that Rachel gets sexy Santa out on her Twitter <laughs> so that and tag all of you. Um so so welcome everybody. Welcome um uh chat. Christine absolutely is in an empty house because like everybody that who who all moved to this pandemic? Just the two of us? Okay. It's just you and me. All right. Well, J. Michael Tatum moved and Damon Mills moved and David Walls moved. And like um, I'm sure that's not the end of the but and it was interesting. I listened to a podcast. I was actually listening to for it was like a relationship thing. And and she was explaining that crisis often is a fast forward button. Oh, that, interesting. Um, yeah. and, so, and so we're seeing marriage rates increase. We're seeing <laughs> divorce rates increase. I think we're like everyone's pregnant also. Every oh celebrity God, yeah. in the world is pregnant right now. They just well, all decided. I mean, makes sense. They're, everyone's stuck yeah. at home. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> cheers to, <laughs> night, to yeah. nighttime activities. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's evening. Um, yeah. It's, it's um, uh, people have had to have the discussion. I think we were kind of all doing we're just letting the day go by and we were kind of we tomorrow looked like yesterday and then um we just were all forced to make decisions mm -hmm. about what our life is going to look like and who we were going to spend it with and yeah 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 um cassandra thank you for making me do toradora yay we, yeah, yeah, thanks for setting this up. This is yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is like for, one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. Ever. Me, yeah. too. Me too. Me too. Oh, it's, it's the best. Yeah. And it's one of the, it like keeps coming back. Yep. Like it came out for us, I think we said, did we say 2014? Yeah. Mm -hmm. while ago. But like it's still popular. Like yeah. I'll still have people tweeting me about it. Like when cons were a thing. People would always talk to me about Tyga. And then speaking of like marriages, people, I don't know if this happened to you, Eric, but like people would come up to me and be like, I like got together with my girlfriend because of Toradora. Oh my God. We got <laughs> married after we watched Toradora. <laughs> and I'm like, that is so great. Like, it is the so show. Cool. That's powerful. It huh? is the show, and I have shared it with a special person myself, and Aww. it brought us closer. Oh, yay! <laughs> yeah. So, yes, it is the show for that. It is one of the best romance animes, just because yeah, so good. the characters are so real, they go through such a real arc. Yep. It, mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I and, watched uh, this in high school. Did you guys yeah. watch <laughs> Like, yeah, I like I knew about it in high school and then it was on my like list of things to watch. And then mm -hmm. so when we got the auditions, I was like, wait, isn't this already? <laughs> yeah, this I'm very four confused. Years ago. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, and it then, was like one of my favorite yeah. shows in high school. Yeah, and it was even my um when I first started voice acting and when I first started uh dating my fiance, it was my ringtone on my phone. But oh my every God. But every time it rang, it was we dreaded it because it was the it was the pure the pure. Yeah. yeah. And but whenever that would happen, that would mean my mom was calling me, telling me to go home. <laughs> oh, I didn't no. I didn't live with my fiance at the time, oh, so no. so oh, whenever sorry. I heard the Torador theme song, it triggered like a oh no I'm in trouble <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> my God, I never knew that. It's a weird, yeah. That's it's a so weird little tidbit about Torador in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who was your favorite character before, like, casting went out? I loved Taiga because she was short, and I'm short. <laughs> yeah. Good reason. But I, but I love Meenery. Like, yeah. after playing her, she is my heart and soul on fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I love – they're all the characters in this show are so, like, so good. There's so yeah, much to that. Well, yeah. be, before we jump, because it's we're gonna go down this rabbit hole and not come back until I make everyone leave. Uh, during so, welcome to all the first timers. I'm sure a bunch of you. This is the first time you're seeing Color World live. Uh, it's like our 20 something show. It started as a joke uh, with Leah Clark and Bryce Pappenbrook, and became very real very quickly, <laughs> wow. and, and has become our our year. And so, on the free panel. 
we a lot of the a lot of times I'm either haven't seen somebody in a really long time or I'm just meeting them for the very first time. And so this is like they we this cast has not been together since 2014 and so there's a lot of catching up to do so um we have a vip panel and that's when i shut up and we answer <laughs> your questions and so the, the first panel is going to be us like celebrating getting back together and there's a lot to celebrate for everything from christmas to the elections to getting an at-home studio to moving to an like there's just so much to celebrate and torador is a perfect anime to celebrate and so um, I discovered the issue with everybody's hangouts. So thank you to those who have been patient and went to the page and found out that they were sold out. I also found out they were sold out. And so we've corrected Eric's page and Christine's page and Erica's page and Cassandra's page. Oh, and wow. so feel free to go back. Yeah, you guys, the morning went crazy and everybody oh. <laughs> got sold out. And so we've opened up the slots for the evening. And so after we do VIP um, and even some backup days during the week, because Torador is so special, we, we made room for everybody to hang out with the, with the cast. And so uh, during the panel, if you feel moved and inspired to, to hang out one-on-one, -on -one, there's so much fun. Did everybody have a fun time this morning on Hangouts? Yeah, yeah. it was so fun. Yeah. This is my first time doing something like this, and it Me was like, really Same. cool. Yeah. I told you it was going to be cool. You did. I know. <laughs> I called Cassandra. I was like, what is this? Is this cool? She yeah. was like, it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so, like way more like at first I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, cause <laughs> normally we have like the in-person fan interaction. Yeah. So I didn't know how it was going to be like video chatting, but there's just something really cool and personal about like talking to somebody like in their home. Yeah. And people are like showing me their posters or like yeah. their props or like their props that they have. And yeah. like, it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's a cool way to like get to know the people that like you only talk to on Twitter or, you know, you've mm -hmm. seen like in a convention line for like 30 seconds. Yeah. It's a real window into their life there. It's really cool. Yep. Yeah, it's totally. Cool. Yeah. I, like I got to finally talk to Abby, who I follow yes! on Instagram. Yes! Uh -huh. And I love her to death. And yeah. like we, we made plans to like meet up in real life. Like she's like yes! Abby's friend. I love her. So I know. I, was, I love her so much. I was like, oh my God, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, like I'm thankful for this that I, because we've never talked one on one before, like in like video or voice or anything, mm -hmm. only like texting. So this is oh, really man. cool. I'm, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> I always get such a big kick when actors have as much fun as the fans do. Um, it's a it's a testament to – so we <clears throat> what we didn't foresee at the beginning of this is that um, English-speaking people live in New Zealand. They live in <laughs> Australia. They live in England. And those are all different time zones. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just realized. Because, yeah, I, did you guys talk to someone from England this morning? Glenn. Uh, Glenn. I, mm -hmm. I apparently yeah. missed the text about it, so we're going to talk later. <laughs> uh, you, you, have, you have someone from Denmark that will be coming up uh, for yeah. you. Cool. And then Glenn Gaddis uh, lives mm -hmm. in England. Um, yeah, well, I, I didn't realize what time is it for them there. <laughs> oh, um, so New, Ze New Zealand or Australia, I think, is 14 and a half hours <laughs> later. And so yes. Lock Lockie will come hang out with us later tonight. It's either the middle of the night. Uh, I think it's in the middle of the, it's just now getting to be morning in Australia right now for Lockie. So he'll, he'll wake up soon and then go oh, watch okay. the panel. Crazy. Yeah. So we, we don't shut down at color world live until 2 AM or 3 AM most nights. Wow. Um, oh my gosh. It makes, it makes for some long days. Um, I did imagine. notice that when I was emailing you and you'd reply at like 2 AM and I'd be like, Oh, they're still awake. I didn't like, why is, why <laughs> oh, are they God. awake? <laughs> yeah um but we we just it's it's been such a joy to bring people together it, i mean when it first started and people were just prohibited from from being anywhere near each other um we really wanted to do something to to bring people back to bring conversation back to you know everybody felt like it was them versus the world the election was looming nobody knew who to trust anymore uh, yeah. you didn't know the who which news outlets were telling the truth i mean it was just crazy and so this has been such a joy and a real blessing for us to uh to bring this together so uh, i'm excited for so many first timers cassandra thank you for assuring them that it is as cool as it sounds <laughs> yes. yes it's a lot of fun yeah and you can do it from the comfort of your own home 
I know, I do like best. that. My nice couch. Like, and you look very comfortable with all of your. I'm plushies. Yeah. <laughs> so comfortable. I have a friend that plays a, a phone game where she like wins plushies, and she doesn't want any more plushies because she has too many, so she just sends them to me. So these Wait, do you win them in real life? Yeah, you win like real life plushies from what? this like crane game, crane phone game, or something. I don't know. And so that's cool. Yeah. That's how what is it called? I want to. Play. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out and I'll text you. Okay. <laughs> And yeah. then I'll, I'll see if I can um, I can locate that on the internet. And if chat, if somebody in chat knows, uh, oh Tyler, thank you so we much. Just, yeah, we have so many now. If somebody, in, okay. I didn't win any of them. They are just given to me. <laughs> <laughs> um. So light, light, oh light, oh, light game. What you, they call? Oh, it's a real yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, is this it? Is that it, Tori? Oh, I think yeah. yeah. I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> so real, real life crane game or no? Fake crane game, digital yeah, crane game. Yeah, you win real prizes. real prizes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Pretty good. Cool. Oh yay! Chat's like. <laughs> okay. Chat. chat knows what's up. They're oh, like, yeah. 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 all these plushies too. Totally yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're all sitting on couches full of plushies. Yeah. See that everybody <laughs> has couches full of plushies. From the crane game. <laughs> Is it hard to win? I don't know. I've never played. I just, I, I think it must not be because she sends me so many. So. <laughs> it's, like, it's too easy. They're just like going to be sending tons and tons of plushies. Right? That's I awesome. Don't, I don't really get it. But, and they're like good quality. They're like huge. Look at this big old Kirby. It's like gigantic. Oh my it's God, bigger than beret. my head. I love the beret. Is it like an artist beret? Yeah, it's the oh. artist one. Isn't oh cute? my God. That's so cute. I know. Okay, do you smash, Erica? Do you do you play Super Smash? Do I smash. <laughs> yes, I don't uh, that means. yes, I do, but I'm bad at it. Uh, <laughs> I'm I sometimes can beat my husband. Okay. Um, but sometimes I cannot. And then oh my god, your husband! Congratulations! I know, I know, we're married. <laughs> Thank you. We'll have like a real ceremony later, but we couldn't wait any longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why do uh, later what you can do right now? Yeah. But yeah, uh, when I was recording the game, I, the Somnium Files, in between when we were on breaks, the engineer, JP, was like really into Smash. And so he had set up Smash. So on breaks, me and the director and the client and the engineer would all just play Smash That's for like so the whole break. Awesome. So I got a little better okay. during the recording for Who's I, the Somnium Files. Yeah, who do, you main? who do you mean? I play uh, I play mostly as Joker just because okay. I want mm. to hear myself be <laughs> like, there. Good job, or whatever I say, you know, when we win. Uh, <laughs> so, but otherwise, I play as Cloud. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Eric, who do you main in Smash? I uh, got to give it to the Wrestle Cat, Macho Cat, Randy Savage, Incineroar. Oh, yeah. Oh, Incineroar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big wrestling mark. I'm yes. actually a pro wrestler myself. And oh, do you? Yeah. Now, I, have, I, you, have you ever wrestled? Yeah, I've he's wrestled. a wrestler. I've you wrestled do? and uh, taken you know suplexes, moonsaults, done all that stuff. Okay, you're a wrestler. Like, okay, is there any place that people can go to like love you as a wrestler? <laughs> you can you can see my character, the Sassy Assassin from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, wrestling on Wrestling Pro Wrestling on Twitch. Whoa. Wrestling Pro Wrestling, twice the wrestling and twice the fun because it's twice the wrestling. <laughs> Okay, now do you, um, do you, uh, um, oh my gosh, Saskatoon. Saskia um, has a hat right here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. are, are you Canadian at all? Do you no, go no, to Canada? That, it was just funny because it's a, an assassin with a lisp. So he's Sylvester Silverstein from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Have you been, <laughs> but have you been to Saskatoon? I've never been. No. What? Okay. <laughs> Oh yes! Did you do? <laughs> did you do the SAS Comic Expo? No, it was something else. Oh, she was like for fun. Yeah, I just had the SAS for fun. <laughs> um, C Canada is a country full of innuendo. For for those that um, have never been to Regina. Regina. Oh, um, Regina. which Regina. could easily be called Regina, but they won't because because they're, <laughs> they're Canada and they're their favorite. They're way more mature than us. That's they, true. They're like, oh, why are you laughing at Regina? Yeah. They yeah. they Stupid have Americans. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Lube is their um, brand of oil change centers. Oh, okay. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, there are many of them in Regina. Um, <laughs> and so, like, 
I always I ask my, spilled my coffee everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah, dude, I'm trying to prove I'm mature enough, but it's yeah. not. Oh, well, my my dad was born in Canada. My mom grew up there. I'm the first uh, generation American in my family. Um, oh. I am the child of immigrants, and so we we've we've done Regina, we've done Saskatoon, we've done Manitoba, um, Winnipeg, we've done the Calgary Expo. So like, yeah. Um, that's that has to be our goal is to get you, Eric, and the rest of you to uh, Saskatchewan to the yes. Sass Comic Expo, and then Eric can do a wrestling match yes. as one of the Amazing. like local. Yeah, does not have for Adora too? Yes, there's a wrestling there's show. A wrestling in Adora. Wrestling match yeah. is one of my favorite episodes. Yes, I, I still think about yes. it all the time. Because I love wrestling too. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This, uh -huh. okay. I know a bunch of people from that, um, from Informa. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out some feelers to see what we can, what, what we can put together. Because this Amazing. all, I, yeah. I mean, I'm, I want to clarify. I don't wrestle. I just like to watch. <laughs> you, but I will watch. The you wrestling. won't participate at all. I mean, if you We're want, bit, I mean, if you want a bad show. Theater. I mean, Eric can wrestle just for all of us. I saw the first video I saw of you wrestling, Eric. I was like, "What the hell? This is like so good." How I, I like, I don't know. I didn't expect the crazy wrestling moves from you, and then it was great. So, <laughs> Eric's got it. He, he, he's yeah. got it covered. Yeah. Okay, if you want to be a commentator, or like, I could use a good manager, a good hype person. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I can do those. I speak. I could commentate. <laughs> I often practice doing the. And stepping into the ring. <laughs> I got to play that person in. Um, is it, oh, in uh, it about Asha, Asha, Kang Gang. Kang Gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, the yeah, yeah. commentator who was like yelling for like all the wrestling uh, or all yeah. the fight moves. Oh, my God, I've never yelled so much in my life. No, I was not being a wrestling commentator. I <laughs> asked when I was recording that, I was like, is that Christine? And they were like, yeah, she has to do this in every episode. And I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, that's, that's wrestling pro wrestling. Right okay, there. I, I finally like, oh, found it. Gosh. Wrestling pro wrestling. There's, oh uh, there's Nessie Jr. and uh, Chow Mein Charlie dressed as a ghost. Oh, <laughs> I, love, I love all the names. Yeah. <laughs> there's oh, Emo Tap and Emo Mummy. Wow. Oh man! The oh, monster bash, uh, Darwin it. Finch. It's it's okay. So it's everybody, had a lot of people come out. Like Kofi Kingston, Becky Lynch have has shown up. A um, hmm. bunch of WWE superstars. Okay. Wow. Rubber Daddy and Rubber Baby. <laughs> uh, I I'm excited. We we found it. You have you have merch. You have wrestling pro wrestling merch. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some sassy assassin merch eventually. Okay. If you I need know. any help. Like yeah. let's let's get these sassy assassin stuff. Um, <laughs> we're we're all about shitties right now. It's like it's fall turning into winter, and so we um, we've been doing these long sleeve shirts with hoods on them. <laughs> uh, this is our we we did the sorting hat the other day, and Rachel and I both ended up with a swan for a patronus. Oh. <laughs> And wow. my daughter thought it was really gross that her parents are like all in love. And so, <laughs> so Rachel like leaned into it and like got these shirts custom made by Eric. Um, he's one of the artists on our team. And so he made, he made the logo and now we're both wearing shirts today to really make my daughter think her parents are gross. <laughs> uh, <yeah. Wow. laughs> that's, that's life, right? When you're, when you have teenagers, you just have to lean into it as a parent. Totally. Yeah. yeah. How old are uh, your kids? Uh, 15, 13, 11, 9, and 1 years old. Well, you've got a lot of kids. Wow. You have a lot of kids. Full, full house. <laughs> yeah, you could have a band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or a basketball team. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. or ha how many of you had Eov as a moderator today for one of your hangouts? My 11-year-old. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. What a he's, cool man. He's so yeah. cool. He's really cool. He's so I like he was talking about his like seven deadly sins shirt that you got him, which yep. is so cool. I wanted to be like, that's awesome, but then I couldn't like come in yet because I was I was not <laughs> talking to him. You know, I was gonna talk to the person. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we uh Bryce has been a friend of our a friend of the family. In fact, Bryce, you all was his handler at Anime Expo, and you know how crazy Anime Expo. So when he was nine. He oh was Bryce Kavanaugh's handler. And so, what? like, the two of them did really well together. Oh, and, awesome. uh, it was, 
uh, yeah, like we just, we've been a family business ever since Rachel wrote color world in 2013. Mm -hmm. Um, we like, my kids are the only people that have been around to like wow. help out. We lived in an RV full time. And so wow. like, they just, they all learn the business and they, they do a great job. That's uh, insane. That's really cool. That's yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah. my nine-year-old tried to moderate the other day, but she froze pretty hard. Oh, oh no. Um, I would be way too nervous, especially when I was yeah. their age. Even now, I'd be like, uh, hey. I couldn't even order food from a drive thru. <laughs> right? Me neither. I, I just would be barely. Too scared. Listen, I've been an adult for a while now, and I've just barely gotten to the point where I can, like, call a doctor for an appointment <laughs> really? and be like, excuse me, can I come in? No. Look, I'm, I still choke on my own spit sometimes. I'm not a functioning yeah. human being. I'm not <laughs> anywhere near fully functioning. Yet. Oh, you guys are some voices for cartoons, and that's it. That's all You're so do. precious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I would imagine... It, there is some kind of uh, safety in being in the box and being in a studio and being in a recording that um, I remember Julian was, was talking earlier about his experience and um, that he's like, uh, some of the actors will be like, oh yeah, let me hear a voice. And then it'll be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean like I could, I could do it now. That sounds scary. But like when you're in your booth and it's you and a director, and I, I think that speaks to the importance of the director and their role in this, that you you feel more at liberty to do, to yell and scream and to do crazy things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I see a lot of head nods. What, what do you think, Christine? Yeah, I, I mean, I was just talking to Julian about that. Like for some reason, there's this thing where, like obviously in person, like, cause they, they're telling me about how crazy, like my characters are like Mako and everyone. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going around the world, like screaming my head <laughs> off at people. What, you're, you're not? <laughs> I know, it I'm shatters sorry. my image of you entirely. I know, I'm sorry to ruin the mirage, but yeah. But when you're in the booth, for some reason, like it just feels like you can just let go of everything. It's maybe because it feels like you're safe because of, I mean, right. even the phone makes me feel comforted. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I'm in my little bubble, and it's it's a safe place to just go wild and do you know whatever you want to do. Yeah, I feel like when I first started, I was a little if I went in a session and then suddenly they were like, okay, we're going to do incidentals. And they'd like throw a character at me that I hadn't really done before. I would get nervous. But nowadays it's like, I've realized that the directors and the engineers, they're cool. You know, everybody yeah. in there is just like, whatever. And it's not, they're not going to broadcast something that's bad. So it's like, just, yeah. just do it. And they'll pick a good one. And then it's fine. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was kind of an opposite for me. Cause I did a lot of theater in college and high school. So yeah. I was used to having like, crowds seeing space, what I was doing, right. you know, and, and having the space between them. But now yeah. when I stepped into the booth after moving down here, it was direct feedback, just one person you were interacting with. And that got me really nervous. But mm. after a while, yeah, you get a feel for the directors and engineers and you, it just <laughs> becomes another day in the booth. I still get a little nervous in new situations. Like I'm, if I'm with a new person, I'm just like, I gotta read this, <laughs> gotta figure out <laughs> how much can I joke around and how much do I just gotta be yeah, <laughs> that's true. I do. If it's like a new director, I'm like, all right, what's your sense of humor? Like, can yeah. I, what, 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 how are we talking about this? You know. So do you do you crack a joke first to like test the waters, or do you like explicitly like how funny can we be today? <laughs> I wait. The room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I generally wait for them to start making jokes, and then okay. if they're making jokes, then I'll. Yeah. Eat and usually they'll talk with their engineers or whoever, so you can kind of get the idea of how they how they're interact. talking to each yeah. other, and then okay. you'll know how you should interact. Yeah. yeah, I never like go in hot to a new situation. No. And I'm yeah. like, all right, listen to my stand up. <laughs> it's like Among Us. You got to suss it out a little bit. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah, you got to gotta be cool. Make Who's sure doing their nobody's, tasks? Who's... nobody's gonna throw you out of the ship. <laughs> yeah. You know? well, be, like easy to work with. Mm -hmm. So like, it's all about reading the room, knowing your yeah. job, just yes. doing what you're told. Cause like you're there to be directed. Yeah. You know, like, Yes, we are bringing a lot to the table and we can make our own choices, but like we don't walk in being like, oh, it's the Cassandra show. Everything <laughs> is for me. It's like, no, that's not how it is. Like, exactly. everybody is playing a role and everybody's role is very important from like the writer to the producer to the director to the engineer. Yep. So if you want to just be able to work with everybody 
and not be like a pain in the ass. Like, look at me. <laughs> and for the most part, they know way more than you do. Um, like, yeah. we come in like blind a lot of the time. Right. We haven't even read the script. Right. So yeah. you have to rely on them yep. because they're the ones who yeah. know what's up. Yeah. Whenever I talk to like the, I've gone back to like my college to speak at the theater a couple times. And whenever I tell them that we don't see the script until we go in, their minds are like blown. They're like, what, <laughs> how do you do it then? And I'm like, well, you just, you go, you just do it. The director yeah. tells you what's going on and then you just, you go. <laughs> well, for anime, yeah. But, mm -hmm. and for video games, I would say, yeah. But for original animation. Oh yeah, then we get the script. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love getting scripts beforehand. Cause then yeah. Yeah. I can actually so, do what I learned in school, you know? Uh, <laughs> you have to memorize whole lines and now I can't even remember what I said yesterday. Oh. <laughs> It's all gone. So, mm -hmm. Cassandra, speaking of the Cassandra show, how, how long did it take to step out of Taiga when you got out of the booth? Was there, like, a cooling down period? Like, how, how easy was it to separate Taiga oh from Cassandra when you, when you stepped out? It's funny because, like, Taiga is so full of rage and, like, so angry a lot of the time. Obviously, she's using it to, like, mask how hurt she is. Yeah, but it's funny because like if I was mad about something or if I was having like a frustrating time, I could just let it out in the booth. Yeah, and then I just leave it there when I leave. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was kind of like therapeutic. Oh, being, good. Like scream in a padded room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and be allowed out when you're done screaming. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Really leave, which I hear is not always the case with padded rooms. Not not everybody <laughs> makes it out. Not everybody. Um, so I I I love Taiga as a character. Um, you don't really come to find out how much she's holding back until we really start to see some of the pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. I I always say I love loud, obnoxious women who tell the truth, and so. <laughs> Right off the bat, I was in love with Tyga because she was screaming at everyone, and I loved every second of it. Um, how um, in your in your journey as as Tyga, when when did you get the idea that you that that maybe it wasn't all Kitamura that maybe there was like I I never knew for I don't, at least 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 episodes. I I was like, but I I thought she liked. Oh. oh my gosh. That's so funny because I feel like early on, everybody around them is yes. saying like, oh, you you guys are walking together. You're, you're eating lunch together. Like you guys are together. So like, I feel like the people in the class and, you know, in school and around them, they probably were like reading the vibe between them and they were just refusing to accept it. I mean, like, right from the beginning, Ryuji's like, oh, this girl needs to be taken care of. I'm going to, like, clean her house. Yeah, but she's a mess. Like, <laughs> yeah, and she's but a I, human. She's a but not everybody would do that for somebody, especially after she treats him like shit because he does. You know, like, he does all that, and then she just like, starts calling him a dog and, like, insulting <laughs> him. So I think most people would be like, wow, little girl. I tried to help you, but you're treating me like shit. So now I'm not going to anymore. But he like continues showing up for her. So I okay. think they always knew like deep down that they liked each other. They just like couldn't admit it. So why did they work so hard <laughs> to get each other with somebody else? Like they literally was like, she's helping him with Kushieta and yeah. he's helping. Like why? Like that's what had me believe because... <laughs> The, to me, that's all, like I'm a duty guy. If somebody's in need, I I could just think you're the worst. But if I see that you need me, I'm going to help you. I'm not going to – I can't just walk away from somebody who clearly is in need. And Tyga was – she was so broken and so hurt mm -hmm. that he could clearly see that she needed help. So you, you for you, right off the bat, you're like, this is – I'm just waiting for these two to get it. Yeah. See, okay, here's the thing about Tyga. She doesn't okay. have parents. Right, like her family, like abandoned her basically. Yes. Just like here, how you can have this nice apartment and money, but she doesn't have like an example. Right. Like what a good or love. Yeah. yeah. 
nobody loves her, which is I so love her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in her life. Yeah. Like, her yeah. Well love her. like yeah. I love that. Yes. But, you know, in her life, like, right. she doesn't have, like, that kind of relationship. So I think she just doesn't, like, recognize it when it comes along. Mm -hmm. Like, this guy comes along and is trying to, like, love her and take care of her. And she's just like, whatever, I like this cute guy over here because he's, like, cute. Because she, like, doesn't know, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think she – it's a process, but I, I think Ryuji, like, taught her a lot about, like, yes. a human being. Yeah. And like how to like accept love and like be loved oh. and also love back. So yeah. I think that's so much of like the undertone of the series. Very okay. much so, I agree. Like I would say that, you know, Taiga and Ryuji are the hot and co cold counter to each other. And the reason yep. why they wanted to go for Minori and Kitamoro is because they still had their walls up. They still had their wants versus their needs. And that's what they were focused on. For Ryuji, he was focusing on Minori because she was, you know, a shining light. She was always energetic and always happy. And he thought he needed that in his life. But come to find after talking with her a lot, no, she's got her own problems. She's got she's putting up a, her own facade as much as Taiga and Ryuji were putting up theirs. Mm -hmm. And it became just them breaking down each other's walls. Ryuji, who re retreated for how he has been perceived. Taiga, who lashes out at how she's been perceived and how they can come to the middle ground. Okay, yeah. Christine, I... I think Kushiana fooled me the most. <laughs> I, 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 I swore her uh, love, attraction, want for somebody else was like, even when they go to the beach house or wherever they go to vacation, <laughs> like I, I don't buy at all. She, to me, same thing. She is, she's good at everything she does. He needs help cleaning the kitchen. He need, needed help with this recipe. She's, She's able, and so she jumps in. And to me, that was her personality. Is I'm in. I do. I do softball. I do this. I do this. I'm in this club. I'm this. So mm -hmm. I. I was snowballed. I bought. I bought the act hook, line, and sinker. For you, did you always know that your heart was with Ryuji? Like, at what point for you in that in the booth were mm -hmm. you like, oh crap? I think she that like she likes him. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the exact like moment in Episode. time. I haven't, yeah. Cause was it during Christmas that she kind of started to realize that she does like him? I think it she was during Christmas. Yeah. yeah. But she couldn't like, she would never do that to Taiga because she, you know, she sees yeah. how close yeah. they are and you know, like, like everyone else does. So she would never like, I think she's like a, for lack of a better term, hose before bros kind of girl. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like Tyga, like Tyga before guys, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised before guys. <laughs> so like you know, she's a, she's like Tyga's ride or die. So she would never ever like as much as it hurts her, she would take the brunt of it for Tyga. I yeah, I absolutely was wrecked and and also loved the scene where they fight at the door. Which wait, which who fight at the door? Ryuji, Ryuji, and Kushieda. Oh yes! Oh my God, that was intense. Yeah. And also one of the most beautiful, like, because they, they both love Taiga. Mm -hmm. And, and I got to tell you, if I'm being completely honest, that was the most obvious ship to me was Kushieda and Taiga. Like <laughs> Kushieda is ride or die. That bitch, <laughs> like she has got her back. There's no way anyone's going to mess with Taiga. She's willing to let you around Taiga as long as you don't mess with her. But as soon as you show that you have, <laughs> like, she go, she's coming for you. Like her dad. Like the way she talks about Taiga's dad. Oh, yeah. I love Kushieda. <laughs> yeah, I know. She is, like, fierce she's a bad people. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I've never did heard you, anyone describe her like that, but I like it. Okay, but like <laughs> at, at a certain point, oh guys, and when they when they're oh I'm gonna try not to get <clears throat> we know. Oh. It's okay. Oh yeah. It's a very emotional show. Yeah. When they race. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. The race. And she throws that Super Bowl special. Oh, <laughs> throws her whole body at everyone else to like That's knock completely them down. Yeah. And, oh. I, I love this anime and it's um, it's one of the most honest looks at love. Yeah. How, how complicated it is, how many sides there are to it. Yeah. 
trying to decide who comes first. It is Erica. What do you What do you think? Yeah, I like everything you're saying is making me realize I haven't watched the show in a few years. And now I need to go back and rewatch it because I'm remembering all these moments. And I'm like, oh, that was so good. And that was so good. And that was so good. And during the hangouts, people were like, what's your favorite moment? And I was like, I can't pick one. There's like so many. <laughs> I told people that it was our fight. Yes, I, that's one of mine. I say oh. that one. And then I also say uh, the part where Ami smashes up the camera. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite yeah. Ones, yeah. Oh, that was such a great. That's like a really good Ami moment. Where Awakening. She's like, finally, yeah. Yes. Like being mm -hmm. her true self. I found uh, it frustrating that she wasn't for like her fake self. I'm like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I showed my mom the show, because like this was back uh, like earlier. So I was like really extra excited, you know, to be in an anime as like one of the main characters. And oh my gosh, mom, you have to watch this thing. And my mom's like, what's anime? So I, I showed her the episode, you know, where Ami comes in and Ami's being like her fake self. And my mom's like, that's you? That doesn't sound like you at all. And then as soon as Ami goes, oh, and like starts talking oh, like no, me, my mom's like, oh, that sounds like you. <laughs> I was like, mom. And she's like, not, that, not because she's me. Just like her voice is like lower now. And I was like, yeah, okay. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Cassandra. I really feel. Somebody yeah. asked Cassandra today. That she was like, "What do you really?" And she was like, "I love when I slap that bitch across the face." <laughs> I'm like, "I'm not buying your act, ho." I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, my. I love this so much. Yeah, Ami, Ami, Ami. How many times have we slapped each other? Like I slapped, I slapped Ami. You slapped yeah. Ami. I, I Ami know. just gets slapped by everyone. It's really rude. Okay. Us, do you remember the episode where we like make fun of like her fat and we like tell her she's like smuggling like yeah, or something? You, like, salute her or something. Yeah, I was like, geez, like I was like, okay, like calm down, guys. You know, yeah. calm hey, you down. guys are really mean to Ami, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Who? Poor Ami. <laughs> Hashtag poor Ami. <laughs> Justice for Ami. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. It's so. I. Ami's a really interesting character in that you. Boy, is it super easy to hate her. Yes. So she goes from zero to hate in like, uh, like a few lines. Yeah. And then I love, I love everybody going to the soda machine. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's, it's, we finally get real Ami. It's, mm -hmm. it's anytime we're at the soda machine and she, okay, Erica, when did you figure out <laughs> that, there was, <laughs> that there was something with Ryuji? Because I got to tell you, um, I, I feel like it was around probably like halfway through, okay. uh, and I can't remember the exact moment, but I, I, I definitely started to get the sense that she did really, really liked Ryuji because he's the only one that like saw, like for instance, fans will often be like, oh, Ami has two voices. And I'm like, no, Ami has three voices. She has her fake nice voice. She has her like mean voice, which is not really the real her either. And then she has just like her regular, like true self. Um and Ryuji is like the only one that sees that side of her uh, yeah. for a long time. Yeah. And so I feel like it might have been around the, the episode where she smashes the camera, actually, where I started to feel like she had some kind of connection with him. Maybe not romantic yet, but definitely like the closest connection she's had with anybody in a really long time. So and I, to be quite honest, ship. Ami and Ryuji pretty hard. Um, I like how it ends, of course, but like a part of me was like, but what about Ami though? Okay. <laughs> you were in Ami. Did you know that? What? People ship you and me together. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because we both got rejected. We have like yeah. our moment together at the end where we talk about the nosebleed thing. Uh, yes, oh. I love the nosebleed. But I think people think that we're together. Yeah, um, I can see it. I can yeah. see it. Cute. I think I think Ami would do that. Like I think they. I you totally. Know. Yeah, I think yeah. Ami. Yeah. They would be. They would be a cute couple. I, the, Ami would be like, oh my god, Minori, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like half the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and Lock what would? Win? That's Toradora season two. Is yes. like the yeah. screen Ami's love story. Oh, that would yes. be amazing. Ami trying to keep a chill pain on her. 
Yeah. We we need a college like we need a college yeah, version college of yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, I so uh, Cassandra, I, somebody pretty early on put something on social media and shared the um, uh, this is my wife, and I was like, I guess I'll get to that. That seems okay. That seems like a spoiler, um, but then. Then Tyga leaves, and like the whole last episode, we're Tygaless, and yeah. and and then you know Erica referred to the end, but but what is the what is the real end? Because to me, it's over. And Tyga was like, my my dependence on you, my relationship with you, as beautiful it is, as it is, is a huge part of you being the first person in my life to be to be a person to me. Yeah. But if I'm going to, if I'm going to also be a person, I, I, I'm leaving and I'm leaving you and I'm leaving the school and I'm, I'm leaving. Did I read that wrong? That they don't end up together? I thought, Did I you... think that she comes back yeah. at the very end. At the very end. Yeah. 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 There's a scene, you might've missed it. I think it's like There's after an the credits. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and she comes back. At yeah. The but very come, end. yeah. But like, Hey, I'm visiting you for my, like, I, I didn't, I didn't feel that she was coming back to be with Ryuji. I feel like she was coming back to say, I'm healing and I want you guys to know I'm, I'm working on it, but I, I love all of you dearly. But like to, there was no, like, cause she was in her other school uniform. I thought like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I took it as, I took that as she took time away, but then she's like coming back to be with him now that she's like had time by herself. I so know. I took it that they it ended about up a year, together. wasn't it? That what do you they think, were Eric? Yeah, it was a whole year later, I think. Yeah. 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 Eric, what do you think, man? I I don't know. She just walks in after a year. I I'd have to. She say walks that. in after a year, and the first thing Ryuji says to her is, "I love you." I think Aww. it's pretty Aww. much <laughs> set in stone. Dang. That. Yeah. You know, and I would love to see that if there, I know there's not going to be a season two, but if ever, we always do romantic animes leading up to the confession and up to them getting together, but. What about the pitfalls they have now that they are together? I would. Well, love that's to see real that. life. Yeah, that's... real life is all the problems. Yeah, but I I firmly believe that that was the moment they got together. They were talking really? about the, they were talking about the same monologue that they opened the show with. You know, that's yeah. the way it's meant to be. You see the yeah. two birds together on the same pole, and it's <laughs> kind of just wrapping it all together, saying oh, they were apart. And you're they saying this is all they in found the credits. It. This yeah. Is yeah, yeah, it's in the That's credits. The thing about mm -hmm. Toradora, like a lot of stuff happens during the credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yes. When I was recording it, I was like, "Why is what's all the words? <laughs> music? Like it's happy music, and it's like a dramatic." Scene you guys get you're like get this out of Cassandra's like get this out of my way. <laughs> uh, when you start hearing yeah. that ending song start to play, you know, sh like stuff's getting yeah, real. You're just happening. like, oh yeah. no, oh no, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first notes. No. Yeah, oh. what Eric just said about the two birds. Yeah, well, that's the first thing that we see, and mm -hmm. to me, that's just the immediate symbolism of a, of like this is how two people end up together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it is like going back to like what we we're saying about how it's so real, and yeah. I, there's a lot of real feelings. Like that's a really healthy thing for Tiger to do. Mm -hmm. To like yes. Real like this is the first person who's ever like shown me love and like now I can function on my own so instead of like being a codependent mess mm -hmm. and, like thinking that you can only function with the help of this other person she's like I'm gonna try to do this on my own for a little while and maybe subconsciously she's thinking like if he really loves me he'll wait for me mm -hmm. and he does and like he recognizes that in her too and like that's important. Like you don't ever want to be with somebody who like needs you so desperately. Yes. Like you want to be able to like be your own person. Mm -hmm. And because like if you're like healthy by yourself, like you're gonna be a, in a healthier relationship. So mm -hmm. I like that it shows that because that's like very adult and like very real. Yeah. yeah. I, I never agreed with the half and like where each other's halves. Yeah. You should be two holes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. should never be, relationship should never be your completion. It's your compliment. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's kind yeah. of why I, this is still one of my favorites that we've done because I love that it ends like that. I, yeah. I like, I don't mm -hmm. know. I feel like it's just more, it's a more realistic anime than other anime. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So. And, I, 
and, and the beauty is found in the broken moments. It's mm -hmm. it's when Kushieta is crying. It's 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 every time Ami gets slapped. It's like <laughs> there, that's it's a lot. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll slap her right now. I'm, let me reach her back. <laughs> I Don't wish, do it, Ryuji. <laughs> uh, I wish we would. I wish I wish human beings. I wish we would slap each other more and shoot each other less. <laughs> But, I mean, but and shoot yeah. each other less. I, I'm over. I'm over. Like we need to realize that we're in a moment, and the moment, the moment can be crazy, and it can be an explosion, and it can be confusion, and but it it needs to be just a moment. It. I'm over it being the end of someone's life. I'm over. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like put the guns away. Let's go back to punching each other. <laughs> we all made it through those moments. Those were healthy. The worst we got was a black eye. Like I'm, I'm ready to return to a time in human history where the worst thing that we do to each other is slap or punch. That's Join me in the ring, brother. I mean, yeah. I guess like that's bad stuff happens because if you're someone who, if Ami stayed the way she was, she would probably snap one day because she yes. wasn't being who she really was. Yes. But even yeah. if you, what you think, if you think yourself like who you really are is bad, it's better to still be that than to try to cover it up with something else. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I definitely think the group of friends in Toradora like saved Ami oh, for sure. Yes. Like, she, she was just so stuck in like yeah. isolation and she had such big walls up that it, it, I don't know that she ever would have like connected with people. And I, I think she would have gone down a really dark, sad path without Ryuji and Taiga and Minori Aww. and everybody. Yeah. And it's it's interesting the the thing that brought her to the school is is so terrible. She's being stalked. This guy's taking mm -hmm. photos of her everywhere. And yeah. I I think that it's too easy in 2020 to allow yourself to be a victim when in reality Ami the mo the moment she stops being a victim and says and says, "You know what? I can I can stop this thing. I'm in control of my own life." That Smash the camera. Right? <laughs> But but also really being being thankful for for what led her to that like you can you can you're allowed to look back and go this thing that was bad in my life led me to a better place. You she doesn't tell the story of the stalker for the rest of the anime. Yeah, She's, right. She says this is the moment where you I don't let you run my yep, life anymore. Done. Yeah, that's yep. why I love the camera smashing scene because like then it's over after that and it's like does not enter her life again and she's like i'm done that's it and now now she just can focus on like this weird group of people she's met and she's like ah <laughs> okay i guess i'm hanging out with them now uh. <laughs> <laughs> into triumph yeah <laughs> definitely <It's> <laughs> well, uh favorite favorites for you cassandra what what really um there's so many moments so like there's no wrong answer to this what from from the discussion from hangouts today like what really just jumps out as something you just absolutely adore about this so my two favorites one for being funny the first time that we meet ami and the boys leave the the booth yeah like ami just <laughs> drops her act and she starts acting like her like bitch self and <laughs> just sitting there like not even entertaining her just like are you fucking serious? <laughs> I <laughs> love Tiger's reaction to it. Um, and then so funny. Like, oh, sorry, there was a mix there was a mosquito on your face. Yeah. <laughs> like that is so funny to me. And it's so funny. <laughs> and then heartfelt moment is when Ryuji dresses up as the bear. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. That's I forgot about that. Oh no. Yeah, I love that. Oh, and and the pageant. I, I I love the pageant so much. Like, and when Tyga does her like talent, and it's like, <laughs> yes. and that's it. <laughs> like, wait, wait, it. wait, what was her talent again? Say it again. She just so she calls Minori up on the stage, and she's like, unzip the bag, and then she just gets in it. <laughs> oh yeah, we can just fit in a bag. <laughs> I forgot she's about like, that. Unzip it. <laughs> she does, and then she just stands up, and she's like, <laughs> "All right, Christine, what about you? What what are what are the moments that just really stand out to you?" I love the beach episodes. 
Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, with the fireworks, the sparklers. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm, the oh. sparklers. I love all the, um, the when they're trying to scare Minari yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yes. They like try to get together to scare her. And then it turns out that um, Minari is scaring them the entire yeah, time. When Kitamura and, and Kushin are working together to freak everybody out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just, I don't know, I love those. And I, I like when you can see them out of the school, like when they take them out of the school setting oh, right. to see how they are in, yeah. um, you know, in other circumstances. Yeah. Uh, all right, Eric, what, what jumps out to you? What do you love? Um, yeah, especially the Christmas episode. I love that one. I still tear up every time I see it. I cannot <laughs> hold it together. Um, <laughs> wrestling episode, of course, but I would also say a big moment for me was the uh, swimming episode. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that episode. <laughs> oh. like, yeah. That one was when when you knew this was going to get real and this was out to hurt you. This show is going to hurt you. Is that what she was like, he's my Ryuji or something yeah, like that? Yeah, is mine. Yeah. Ryuji is mine. Oh, man, I was thinking of the... Um, the oh, the padding the, episode. The <laughs> the and it was amazing. He's like, he knows what's at stake. And he's like, I don't care what the result of this is, but I'm going to put this thing <laughs> in there that kills me! I was like... That was so, I guess to me, I was, that was still in friend mode. If that was, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, I, this could go really badly, but I, my, what, Taiga's more important than what, whatever could happen next. I, oh, I love it. I forget oh. when Ami completely yeets Taiga in. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. yes. Her in there. I love that moment. I also love when they start the race and Taiga like tricks her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throws all the stuff at her, and I'm like, Smart. yeah. Smart. <laughs> I love. Okay, Erica. What? What about for you? What? What do you just love? Oh my god! There's like so many moments. Uh, when they're in the snow, when they go oh, to the yes. snow, I That's really like life. that episode too. Oh. Um, god, there's so many. Like every episode we're talking about, I'm like, yes, that yeah. one. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, that this too. one. Yeah. Um. I also like when uh, Taiga and Ami sing the Christmas song. I wish we dubbed that. I, oh, like, I was so yes. sad that we didn't get to dub the song. You no, know, I have written English lyrics if you guys want to give me at some point. Woo! Oh, that's interesting. Woo! Yeah. Now that's that's good to know. That's mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I I was I was hoping to approach you guys about that at some point. I'm just like, oh. let me finish these lyrics up. Let me get them tight and, and good. But. Yeah. I okay. would maybe I that would was maybe the biggest thing that I think something. was missed from the dub is the fact that you guys didn't get to sing that song. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm so disappointed we didn't get to. Okay, this I is know. happening, right? Like this is. Really, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> maybe crazy. I shouldn't have said it on yeah. on recorded, you know, stream. But now there's the pressure. Yeah. There's I the actually pressure. in my in my head, my fantasy is that we we sing uh pre parade together someday. Oh yeah. That would oh, be so that's fun. A good song. I'm just gonna get uh, PTSD about. Yeah. <laughs> now that I know, it's like a trigger for you. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, that was fun. I remember, what are the other theme songs? Do you remember? I can't. I'm trying to remember. I yet. only Vanilla like salt. that one is so iconic. Vanilla salt. That I just... Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I totally forgot. Yeah. I forget the other. I can. I can hear them in my head. I just don't know the titles. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, as I knew would happen, we have sadly come to the end of oh. our, um, thank heavens for us, there is a VIP and we can go back. Um, so again, thank you so much, chat. Thank you, everybody. It, clearly, this anime is beautiful. The story is beautiful. The character and the acting, the acting is unbelievable. I was so thrilled when Cassandra was like, do this thing. It was like the most palm top tiger way to have this panel <laughs> is for Cassandra to be like, Brad, me and my friends are going to do this thing. Awesome. I think I think this is still one of the best dubs I've been in. Um, Not in a small part, thanks to Alex Von Davis. Yes, oh, yeah, I Alex think he pushed us to the to brink. With these characters. Shout out to like, Ricky, our engineer. Yeah. Um, like, we also got to take so much time with this because mm -hmm. this was like Nisa's first anime dub, right? So they were like, just take your time, oh, do whatever. Yeah, make it really, really rush. good. Not rush. Yeah, no, it was it was great. So I okay. still I still think it's one of the best. best I ones. agree. Yeah. It's a I, Hall of Fame one for sure. It's yeah. 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 Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna for everybody in public, we're gonna reconvene in a year, but like <laughs> in a year and a month. 13 months from now, yeah. I'm going to work on licensing. Yeah. Eric, Eric is going to politely suggest 
that they do this English uh, recording of this beautiful song that Eric's been working on. We're all like, oh, um, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you for Erica for, for bringing this into my life. It's absolutely spectacular. Okay, we're going to take a break now, everybody. We will see everybody in VIP in 30 minutes from now. There are still time to book Hangouts. I have correct all the snafus, and you can go book Hangouts with anybody. And then we will see you all uh, in a short 30-minute break for the VIP panel. Cool. Thank you, Yay, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.